India has always been known as a land of knowledge and creativity as it has given the world some of the most knowledgeable people and inventors. Starting with Aryabhatta, who introduced zero to the world and changed mathematics forever, to Swami Vivekananji, who is considered one of the most knowledgeable humans to exist, India has produced some of the most influential figures. It was in 1893 in Chicago when Swami Vivekananji deciphered the true meaning of knowledge when he spoke on the topic, knowledge is power, and shocked the whole world and forced the world to take notice of the capabilities of Indians. Such virtuosos really shaped the world's perception of India in terms of knowledge and education. Our nation's phenomenon of producing great talents is not just a thing of the past. In the recent times, our nation has given the modern world some of the supreme talents. A few examples of this fact are Satya Nadella, Sundar Pichai and Pranav Mistri, who are leading some of the biggest giants of today's world. All these examples from the past and present serve to establish one thing, that Indians are one of the smartest people on the globe and have the capability of having enormous impact on the world. The reason behind this is that Indians have the acumen of solving the most complex problems by perceiving the problem from a different perspective. However, there is another really important thing to take note of here. Most of India's early inventors and noteworthy people were educated completely in India. But in the recent times, we can easily notice a trend that most of the successful personalities of India chose to go abroad to further hone their skills. The trend is still spreading rapidly and even our top quality students from our nation's most prestigious institutions, when given a choice, are choosing to study abroad. According to the UNESCO Institute of Statistics and ICEFmonitor.com, in the past decade there has been a surge of 256% in the number of students choosing to study abroad. But what about the majority of students who choose our education system to move ahead in their careers? According to a study conducted by McKinsey, 3 out of 4 engineering graduates and 9 out of 10 humanities graduates are unemployable. Another study conducted in 2015 by Aspiring Minds Organization shows that out of 6 lakh engineers that India produces every year, 97% don't possess the basic conversational skills of English. The capability of our people cannot be questioned as we definitely have the potential of doing anything, be it heading a world-class technological firm or changing the tech world. Then what is the issue that's impairing our education system? Is it our institutes? Or does the system itself lack something? Or hasn't caught up yet?